Okay, students, this is the last of our tutorial for a uh, review for our, our test lessons one through four. We're going to do the surface area of a triangular prism. Same concept, we're just going to do the outer area of it. So I'm going to go ahead and try to draw my own triangle here. the best I could do. It looks like a piece of pie. But anyhow, we're going to go ahead and label everything. And as we know, the right angle is always the 90 degree angle. So that's going to be right here. Make this my right angle. Now, as we remember, this is, uh, uh, this is 3D. So this is um, a volume. But right now we're going to do the outside area. So this area here is the flat part. This is the flat, the, the back area. This is a side, if you looked at it, and this would be another side. This part down here would be a bottom, and this part would be the top part of it. But we're going to go ahead and open this piece, these pieces up right now. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to label everything. And as we know, I made this part my right angle here. So um, I'm going to go ahead and make smaller pieces of this. So let's go ahead and um, go up here. There's that one. Same piece, similar to it. Okay, and then I have back And then another one here. That was probably just slightly longer. Okay. That's about right. Okay. So let's go ahead and label everything. Two, three, four. One, two, three. Yes. Okay. So this part right here is going to be eight inches. Here's my marker here. Eight inches. This right here is going to be six inches. This part right here. will be ten inches and actually I'll put that right here and then my little cheese part here is going to be seven inches okay so we know what this part is it's right here this is going to be eight by what by six so this is going to be eight inches by six. That's the outer area. Now this this part right here is this. That's a squared area. That's going to be six. And if it's opposite of this, that's going to be six like that by ten. actually by seven inches. It's this part right here. Okay, so we have eight by six, six by seven. And now we have these two blocks. Those are gonna be, we know this is seven, so that's where this falls right here. So these are gonna be seven by 10. There we go. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're gonna do our regular uh, base times height. And then we'll put the answer in each one. That's probably the easiest way to do it. And then we'll add it all up. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's do 
uh, and this one's going to be the same 10 by 7. There we go. Okay, let's do this one first. Because these are a triangle, remember it's 6 times 8, which is one half of that, okay? So 6 times 8, if we're going to do the triangles first, we'll put triangle. Okay, and your triangles are going to be area equals one half BH. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go area equals one half. Base is going to be eight. Height is going to be six. So go ahead and put this here. Area equals one half of 48. So one half of 48 is 24. So in this case, area equals 24. And we're doing surface area inches squared. So this part right here is 24 inches squared. And this is 24 inches squared because we have two of them. All right, let's go ahead and do this part. That's this front part right here. Or this back part actually right here. Okay, so here we have 6 by 7. 6 by 7. So this is just going to be area equals base times height. Let me use a different color pen here. Area equals B times H. Area equals 7 times X. And that is 42. And it's going to be inches squared. So this is 42 inches squared. Now let's go over here and do these two. Same thing. Area equals BH. Area equals 10 times 7. So that is 70 inches squared. So this is 70 inches squared. And this is 70 inches squared. So we have all the pieces. We have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Two, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's add all these up. We'll just add the boxes up. 24 plus 24 plus 42 plus 70 plus 70 equals 230 inches squared. 230 inches And it's all the outer area. So that's what it all looks like, student. I made a slight correction here, students, because I realized that my answer of 230 was slightly off. So I checked my work and realize that this top part is 10 by 7, but this bottom part wasn't. The bottom part was actually 8 by 7. So 8 by 7 is actually going to be uh, 7 times 8, which is 56. So you subtract 4 from this, and you get 216 inches squared, which is the correct answer. 
So because I went and I assumed that both of these were the same, they weren't actually, because this top part was eight by seven. This bottom part, this top part was eight by seven. This right here was eight by seven, which is underneath the flat part. But this that was laying on top of the cheese here, this actually from here to here was 10 by seven. So they were two separate pieces at two separate dimensions. And so correcting it, my actual answer was, or should have been, 216 inches squared. Always check your work, students.